Governor Babajide Songwonlu of Lagos State has inaugurated a six-member panel of inquiry to investigate the cause of the collapse of the 21-story building in Ikoi. He also signed an executive bill to give legal backing to the panel uh, during uh, their period of sitting. The panel will be chaired by Toyin Ayinde, the president of the National Institute of Town Planners. He uh, urged uh, uh, the panel to be professional and factual in their findings in order to give closure to the families of uh, those who lost their lives in the incident. Joining us to discuss this is Niyi Babadi, a, an international journalist. Good evening. Thank you very much for joining us, sir. Thank you for having me on the program. So I, I brought up, I, well, I started a conversation yesterday with regards to the panel of inquiry. Interesting personalities. It has uh, Mr. Tony Ayinde, he's the president, Nigerian Institute of Town Planners. Uh, Dr. Akintilo Idris Adeleke, a structural engineer, has an architect, has uh, uh, Mrs. Bumi Ibrahim and a, a couple of others. Interesting profile, you know, across board. But my question, you know, which I started yesterday was, should this be a situation where we are setting up a panel or should this be a criminal investigation? Well, I am happy you said something now that I really liked. Must we wait till, where were all these people, I mean, all these professionals, uh, when the building was being erected, where were they? Why weren't they consulted? Or why was their opinion, uh, no, I mean, nobody asked them for their opinion, uh, their professional advice then. Why must we wait till after life has been wasted? That is definition of Nigeria. I always say something anytime I'm talking on any forum, that Nigeria, we do things, we are so peculiar. I don't know why. We do things that the way it is never done elsewhere in the world. Right. Thank God, you have, so we have all these people. How come we cut corners? How come we, 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 we bypass professionals like this to uh, do things the, the Nigerian way? It starts, you know, it starts from the way where you see, I, le I know I live on the island. When I was given the time to come here, I left my home around 5 to make a 7.30 appointment. I'm sure this is because of the training I've got in the past, working, holding forth for an international organization in Africa for several years, right? Normally, I could have said, oh, Nigerian time, I should be there by, and now you'll still be waiting for me, or the student will be waiting for me. You see, we need, there are fundamental issues that we need to address before we can move forward. I can bet it with you. At the end of, if we have bold people, as I, I, I'm, I'm quoting now, bold people who will ask questions. I can bet it with you that after the governor has set up all these uh, professionals to investigate the cause of the building, you will see we won't have the outcome. I'm not causing neither am I. I'm just saying at the end of the day, the, the results, the, the report, the communicate, the whatever they come up with, we might not hear about it anymore. We might hear about it, but the, the, the story might be doctored because this is Nigeria. I was reading something just now. I see if the person who sent it to me knew I was coming for a, a, a program. He said, uh, uh, at the seventh day when God was resting, devil sneaks to create African leaders. And, and you say, sorry, it's, for, it's not funny that when God was resting at the, uh, on the seventh day, devil sneaked to create African leader and their class captain is in Nigeria. Well, it's, so, it's, it's, it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. Uh, and and, and the, the, the reason, you know, you know, all these questions will come up. And, and, and I also was saying to myself earlier that I think one of the challenges that Nigerians have, I don't know if you would agree, is that Asides government, that we as, as a people don't really value the Nigerian life. And the reason um, I'm saying that is, if we did, if we saw that every single person, you know, this is close to 40 now, uh, as at last count, who has lost their life um, in this incident, if every single one of those lives did matter, we would not be in an environment where a panel is set up to wait for 30 days for, you know, results. We would instead be asking, 
that every single detail of what happened leading up to the event on Monday um, be investigated. Look. And, and that includes, and I've said this over, that that includes the search and rescue efforts and the lackluster You're, attitude of the search and rescue efforts. Let me tell you one thing again. Nigeria is the only country where that adage that who, uh, he who pays the piper dictate the tune. This, this, you will remember the issue of Oga at the top. Right. The issue of Oga at the top came in when the guy was asked, what is, in, what is your website? Your website? And he was pinned. He was, I probably was thinking, of, oh, if I give my website, uh, office website out, my Oga at the top might get upset. Look, I thank God, I don't think, even when I'm coming again to the next world, I want to be a journalist, a foreign journalist, not a Nigerian journalist. No, 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 no I don't want to be the Nigerian journalist. I see my contemporaries, I see how the, the, the slant of their story, and I see, oh, because he's giving you the brown envelope, he's appreciating you, you don't tell it the way it is, which is sickening. In those days, uh, journalists, journal, journalists were after the, 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 the reverence during the Church of England in those days, the next person that were respected and believed had uh, the love of the people that are trustworthy were the journalists. But now, the things, are, things are really, really changing. Why am I saying all this? If at this stage the, the panel were given, they were being set up, and by tomorrow, look at the scenario surrounding the whole thing. The place had been sealed before by, by government official. But because of our own way of doing things, our ways of doing it the crooked way, somebody went and go, go, to the, I mean, go to the highest authority who unsealed the place and life continues. And now see what we got. Right? That is the Nigerian trend. You just said it. The, the cheapest thing to waste in Nigeria is life. Because it has no value to nobody. The cheapest thing to waste in Nigeria is life. It's just like you are buying uh, goodie, I mean, you are buying uh, cookies on the road. That's how they waste life here, right? I, sorry, I keep referring to journalism. You know, it is in international journalism, if you are not sent on hostile environment course, which I attended several, several times outside London, as for sure, you, were, you are not allowed to go to cover, uh, what do you call it? Student riots or two people fighting on the street, right? Your organization will be liable if anything happened to you. Here in Nigeria, they will send you to war front because they believe oh, should be where he's getting the salary. What's what stupid salary? So that's how wasteful life can be on this side of the of the device, right? So whatever uh, I uh, you remember what Steve Biko told the, the the black people of South Africa when they, they were the the, 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 the the black police were used against the black. He said, "Black man." You are on your own. Nigerians, you are on your own. So you, so you don't believe or trust that this panel, the six-member panel, no. will be able to... No, I give kudos to this panel. Professionals to the core. Intellectuals. People of high repute. But will they be given free hand to operate? Won't there be one uh, announcement from Abuja saying, ah, da, 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 that's what we're talking about here. Yeah. But, but also, can, can a criminal investigation be going on side by side with the panel? And uh, unfortunately, we're in a country where ah. if, the, if the governor himself or the presidency or the IGP doesn't give a go-ahead for an investigation, the police really can ignore it and act like it didn't happen. So would you expect that in, in a system that works, they don't need to wait to be told to resume or to begin a criminal investigation into this matter while the governor sets up whatever my panel dear brother, to set up. My dear brother, the people, the panel there, are only to investigate the cost 
of the collapse, right? Why? Was it due to uh, substandard uh, product that were being used or short, uh, what do you call it in Nigeria, the short change thing, yeah. thing that we all do? Or they were not, there are no body on that panel who is going to be investigating, who is going to be, I mean, investigating uh, criminal investigation, right? If you want to do criminal, if you want to bring a criminal investigation, you bring the light of the DSS, the FBI, uh, we don't have FBI in Nigeria, the, li the light of the police and what have you, then we know that, yeah, this is, but this, the, this is just to, this is just like uh, we're, the, 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 we're, we're, we're patching what is unpatchable. And it's, it's a pity, this is, what has been so happening in Nigeria subsequently, put, say it anywhere. I will tell you, I'm, I'm not predicting them. You will see at the end of the day, the, the people will start and they will go back and say, this is what we find out. And somebody will say, okay, thank you. Collect the report, take pictures and put the picture out to the, to the public for rabble rousers. So say, oh, they, they, they're doing well. But the main thing, the main thing they were asked to do, the main, you will discover that at, you, at the end of the day, you will see that nothing will come out of it. I can bet it with you. I'm so sorry saying all these things, right? You know, I'm saying sorry saying all these things. But this is what we know. This is, this is what I've been, I, 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 you know, I studied investigative journalism. So you should know that I know how we are, who we are, and what we are. How do you think that the people of Lagos can put pressure on the government to ensure that um, there is a criminal uh, pr uh, you know, investigation into this or that the panel doesn't waste Lagosians' time for the next 30 days and eventually nobody gets to pay for or answer for these, uh, these debts? Unfortunately, the owner of the building died with the building. Uh, that is one reason why criminal investigation will be dropped and has to go down the drain. As part, that is one major excuse. But if we are, we are, if we are uh, a nation, the Nigerian nation, yes. that that's supposed to learn, that's supposed to learn from uh, pa uh, past uh, uh, problems or atrocities and what have you. We shouldn't find ourselves in this situation. Look at all the story. Oh, he got approval for eight-story building. Later, he got approval for 15-story building. Somebody has to lose his job because he said, no, oh, it was it was supposed to be 15-story build, uh, sure. building. Yeah. But now, now he went to 80. Before, now he's now 21. And somebody has to lose his job. That is the kind of justice you get in a, in a, in a society where, like I said, he who dictates the team, I mean, he will give, pays the piper, that says the tune. That's the Nigerian society. And if we continue like this, if we continue like this, oh, there are fundamental issues, there are fundamental problems that we are ignoring just for the sake of, oh, no, it's not a, oh, I, I, I don't know. I was, somebody said something one day. He said they, are, they were taking the, the Anglican. I did not assist them because I have not an Anglican. They came to they take the, uh, the Catholic. I did not come out because it was, I was not a Catholic. They went and take the, 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 the Presbyterian. I did not show interest because I was not part of the Presbyterian. Now, they've taken all those people away. They've come to take me. Who now will fight my cause? They're forgetting that they, okay, look, uh, the governor of my state, I, uh, my former governor of my state, I of Ayoshi, was seen hoping on Okada. Right. If during his tenure as the governor of Ekiti State, if he had used his little power, the, 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 the regional power from Ekiti, to say, no, this has, must not be this. We must do this the way I see it overseas, yes. that I travel to virtually every other, every other week. He wouldn't have been hopping on bike when there was traffic. There would have been solution to Nigerian problem. We will all come back. We will all come back. To our, to our sheets, to whatever we, we do now. So I don't think, just like I said, I wish the panel good. I wish them good deliberation. I wish them good result. But I can bet it with you, my brother. Those people are not here. They are not being uh, appointed or whatever to do criminal investigation. They are just to 
give uh, reasons why the building collapsed. So we they forget. Nobody will get any justice anywhere. You and I know that. We are all Nigerians. We are all Nigerians. It, 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 yes, well, I, I would I understand what he... <laughs> yeah, no, we're Nigerians! But it shouldn't be that way. And, 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 and if you've been following the, the, you know, the, uh, the story, the video clips that you yes, see almost yes, every day, yes. you see family members crying. Crying! You see people weeping crying. and hoping yeah, that they would yeah. find some, no. some glimmer of hope. You um, remember, you, I, I flew in from England to cover the... Was it the was it the Sosoliso or Sosoliso? Uh, well, I think yeah, it was Sosoliso or one of the yeah that, that crashed. And the guy said he told his boss before he left that this plane will not get to where it was going. They say, oh, manage it to Lagos, manage human lives, manage. The thing got to somewhere around uh, Amu or what's that place called and crashed. He said he told his boss, "Are we?" Are we reasonable? Who are we? Who are we? And we want to continue like this. All we want to do is, so oh, can't you see my, my fleet of cars, my, my houses and all that stuff? Forgetting that human life matters a lot. There are one million and one people there, out there, that cannot even afford the meal. All the, I was coming now, I saw, I was even, do you know, sorry I'm saying this, I'm being, I'm being, I'm feeling somehow. I've not been, I remain on the mainland anytime I don't have anything because of traffic. I don't come this way. Today, when I go to Victoria Island and I saw the kinds of buildings you guys have, oh, I've been fooling myself. I'll be fooling myself. I told my children they should not come to, they, I don't, I'm, fortunately, I, my children, I thought they won't come to Nigeria. They don't need to come and see anything because there's nothing to see. Now I know that I am Mr. Foolish. I can say it categorically to Nigerian, I remain Mr. Fully. What I saw today, the kind of building that I saw today, you know, I, I, I remember at a point I raised up my head and I was counting uh, floors and I was counting up to 30 floors and I said, me, well, I should just go and sleep somewhere. Well, hopefully, um, you know, and of course I just, I'm going to wrap up with, you know, saying that I hope that uh, this is a wake-up call for the Lagos State Government to ensure that well, they, they, they look across all they the... Should, all the um, uh, the approvals that have been given in the last five years for, you know, high-rise buildings across Lagos. Um, because from what we've seen, it's possible to beat the system um, uh, yes, and yeah. continue building. Yeah, a, a, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. you're right. So then it, they should include criminal, invest, I mean, investigators in the, with this, uh, this panel. This, yeah, with this panel. Then we know that, yeah, we are at it. But if we say, oh, okay, those who want to say, oh, the, like, the sand was not too thick enough or the cement was not the prior, proper one, here we go again. All right. Um, that's where we, of course, will end the discussion for now. Thank you for staying with us. Uh, of course, uh, we've just been speaking with Nii Babade. He's an international journalist. We'll take a short break, and when we return, I'll be giving my take. My take today is centered around the value of the Nigerian life. This particular perspective has been spoken about millions of times, but we still don't seem to get it. When we start to actually place value on the Nigerian life, then we will begin to question certain levels of incompetence and stop ignoring the failures of government in areas that are always overlooked. Certain things we don't complain about and it's really because it's the Nigerian way and we don't know how to demand competence always. If we value the Nigerian life, we would speak louder about the things like the standard operating procedures for search and rescue Nigeria. On this day in 2012, it was on record that 363 people died from flooding in certain states in Nigeria. To date, no one was questioned. And now we are doing the same thing with the search and rescue at Ikoi, whose failure was responsible for the delay in equipment getting to Gerard Road. Are we using the right equipment in searching for survivors? Is the use of excavators, you know, alone best practice? Should there be any minute that passes where work is put on hold? And why don't we even have airlifting equipment? There's no helicopters, there's no air um, helicopters at all. 
Nobody is asking these questions simply because there is no punishment for incompetence when it comes to the Nigerian life. And we must do better. That's my take. Thanks for joining us. Plus Politics returns on Monday at 7 p.m. I am Osao Gie Ogbonwa. Have a great night.